Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again, and I want to welcome everybody back to another video. And today I'm coming at you with another paid request, uh, once again from Yule, who wanted me to take a look at some more Asian films. And today I'm going to take a look at another Korean movie, which I, uh, actually, no, uh, one Korean movie. I haven't watched the other one yet. My bad. <laughs> it's Monday. Um, this is the first of two Korean movies he wanted me to talk about. Again, it is Monday. Uh, getting ahead of myself here. But uh, this is called The Host, uh, which is a, I, I guess it would count as a creature feature. Um, it's more of a drama than anything else, but it's a monster movie as well. And it's actually directed by the guy that did Parasite, which I have never seen Parasite um, but he is the guy that directed that movie. And this is one of his earlier films. And I actually quite enjoyed this. This was pretty interesting. Um, you know, at, at least in my opinion. You know, it, it kind of makes you think it's going to be one thing. And then it goes in another direction. Which, you know, I'm cool with. I like a little bit of variety. But I did enjoy this movie for what it was. Um, and if anyone, before we go any further... If anyone would like to help contribute to the channel by sending in a paid request such as this, you may do so down below in the description box. There's a link to my PayPal account. No amount is too big. No amount is too small. It does not have to be a movie review. It could be a TV series or a cartoon, a comic book, video game, music, uh, random thoughts, rants, streams, commentaries, anything in between. That's what it's there for. Uh, so again, if you're interested, go ahead, send it in. I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. And for those that have sent them in before, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. It means you guys actually care about what I say and do here on the channel. You want to see me try some different things. It does motivate me to keep wanting to make videos. So it's a win-win for everybody. You guys get more of the type of videos that you want to see me cover here on the channel. I keep making them, and at the end of the day, everybody goes home happy, uh, just like they used to say at Blockbuster. So, thank you. But, the host. Um, so, yeah, I, like I said, I, I guess this would kind of sort of count as a creature feature. I guess, you know, it, it has a monster in it, but it's more of a drama than anything else, I would say. Because... It's more about the effect that everything has on this family and driving them insane and everything. So, yeah. So the plot of the film is there is a medical team in Korea, which includes American military members, and they start dumping formaldehyde into the water. And, the wa and because they do this, it creates this creature. So... The people in Korea, South Korea specifically, they see it, they think like, oh, like it's just a big fish, and it comes out and it starts killing everybody and eating people and causing mayhem and destruction, and it captures this little girl. Now, her father is distraught by this, and the rest of the family throughout the rest of the movie, they want to kill the creature and rescue the little girl. There's political and social commentary in the film. Um, you know, it's it's not like America's evil, but it's just like, you know, there's a little bit of that in there, which I wasn't really big on. And then, you know, they think that because this creature is there, there's this virus that's out there, but you find out that the virus isn't real. and They've kind of made it up so they can control the population and kill people that kind of sounds familiar i don't know gee where have i heard that one before so you know it, it's not like just a straight up monster movie or a drama there is you know like social commentary and stuff in there and i was okay with that excuse me i was more interested in you know, the, the dramatic side of it. And, you know, it is a good drama. It shows the effect that this had on the on this family and what they were going through and how slowly they all became insane because either 
they couldn't kill the creature or they couldn't, you know, save the little girl. But, you know, of course, the movie ends, you know, in one way or another. You, you kind of figure it out. But, you know, I did. The creature is all CG. But I, I thought it looked okay. I, I Trust me, I've seen worse. <laughs> I've definitely seen worse. Um, you know, She-Hawk might be among them. But, um, you know, and I liked how they didn't show the creature a whole heck of a lot in the movie. Like, they showed the creature in the beginning, and then, you know, there were, there's like one scene where they're trying to hunt the creature with guns, and it's like piss and rain, so you got to see him then. There was another scene where one of the characters was trying to find the little girl, and he found her, and then the creature got on to him and killed him and there was one where one of the family members she's a archery champion so she tried to kill the beast that way but it didn't work um the ending they're like on this roof and you know the guy's like trying to escape the hospital so you know there's some pretty good sequences in the film i do think that the movie is well acted and it is well directed again this is the guy that would go on to do uh, Parasite, which, you know, won an Oscar, but I've never seen the movie. Um, I've heard mixed, you know, views on that film. But, you know, I, I like I said, I like this for what it is. And I had never heard about this movie before. I'd never seen this movie before. So this was a nice little, you know, little movie to check out. I will say it's a little long because it's like two hours on the nose. You could have cut and trimmed some things here and there, in my opinion. You know, the movie could have been maybe about 10 minutes shorter, as in my opinion. That's just, again, just how I feel. But, again, you know, it's just like, it didn't, this movie did not need to be two hours. Like I said, you could have trimmed some things here and there. One scene I thought was interesting where the one of the family members sneaks into like this computer lab and they're trying to like pinpoint the location of of where the girl is and all these people come in trying to get him because he's like walking around without a mask and they're like oh well you, you're sick you got the virus like we need to get you in quarantine and he like electrocutes everyone like he like throws water on it and makes it you know short circuit which i thought was kind of interesting you know to do but, you know, like I said, it's a pretty good drama. Like I, I can't talk again. It's Monday. Like I said, it, it's a pretty good drama for what it is. You know, I, I guess in some way, shape or form, it is a creature feature. You know, I like the design of the monster. I like that you didn't see the monster a whole heck of a lot. I liked how they did the old Spielberg trick where you don't reveal too much. Um. You know, and it's not a bad film. You know, I, I enjoyed this movie. It was a nice little surprise. I went into it thinking it was going to be more of a, of a like a, not, not like a Godzilla movie, but I figured it would be more of a creature feature. You know, there'd be more monsters and, you know, stuff like that. But it was a pleasant little surprise, I will say. Uh, this is on YouTube. Uh, you can rent it. It's like three bucks or whatever. Um, I'm sure if you poke around other places on the internet you can find it for f-r-e-e -E. that spells free um like the song but you know would this ever be a movie that i would watch again yeah maybe i mean to be perfectly honest you know i'd, I'd probably give this movie another look would i ever pick it up on blu-ray eh, maybe if i found it cheap enough you know i wouldn't mind getting this movie in the collection um, you know, it is a slow burn. I will say, you know, they really, like I said, they really stretch out that two hour running time, which is why, you know, I think that they could have cut and trimmed some things here and there and maybe got the movie about 10 minutes shorter. But, you know, it is well acted. It's well shot. You know, it's a good drama. And it just shows how insane that these people go because they can't find this little girl. So. It's a very well done movie, I will say. You know, again, it was a it was a pleasant surprise, you know, to, to check this movie out. And apparently, um, I don't know if it still holds the record, but it it was the highest grossing South Korean movie. Now I don't know if, if that record was ever broken. Um, but when I was 
you know, reading up on some things in the film, I read that it was the highest grossing South Korean film. So, again, I, I don't know if it still is, you know, or it's number two now, but so that's pretty cool, too. And Scott, I forgot to mention, Scott Wilson is actually in the movie. He plays the American doctor that tells them, yeah, we have to dump this into the river. And ultimately, that's what created the monster. So, but it was cool to see him in there. I, I did like him as an actor. May he rest in peace. You know, he was most famous for The Walking Dead, but I remember him honestly the most from Judge Dredd. He was the the leader of the like the mutants out in the cursed earth. So I'm like, oh cool. It was nice to see him in this movie. But yeah, but at the end of the day, you know, if you're into Korean films, Korean drama films, I know I've reviewed a, a couple of few already here on the channel. Um, you know, it's worth I, I look at it this way, it's worth a rental. You know, if you go on here on YouTube, you know, four bucks or whatever it is, it's worth it to check it out. Or again, if you play around elsewhere, I'm sure you can find it, you know, for uh, zero dollars and zero cents. But it is worth a shot, in my opinion. So there you have it. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed my review of The Host. Next up, I will be taking a look at another Korean film. This one is more of a historical war drama. So that should be interesting. So until then, as always, thank you guys for watching. Take care, and we'll talk at you later. See you.